Now, don't you listen to one foul thing the devil's got to say. If the devil shows you something or tells you something evil about one of the members of the body of Christ, don't you believe it. For as soon as you believe it, you mire your experience. And if you see one of the members of the body of Christ doing something evil, don't tell nobody else. But go to that member and with love and see if you can't bring them back to Christ again. And if you can't do it, then tell one person and let them go with you. Do it the way the Scripture says. See? But don't, if somebody says sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so, don't you believe one word of it. You just leave it go. Because remember, it's the devil trying to tear you to pieces I just look for him to come in because he'll do it. Now you let the good man of the house, faith, stand right there and don't you receive one thing. These people have been set in heavenly places with you, fellowship together around the blessings of God, taking the communion at the table and the Holy Spirit has witnessed that they are the children of God. Let's just be real sweet, kind-hearted, forgiving, loving, and if the other person talks evil against you, you talk sweet against them. Watch how sweeter comes to you then. That's right. Just always return good for evil, love for hate. Now, be sure to do that. Pledge yourself that to God. God, by your grace, that's what I'll do. No matter when anyone says evil, return good. Don't think evil. If you do think evil and you're just hypocritically saying it, then, then, then you're wrong. You just keep on consecrating yourself to God until you really feel good to that person. That's the way to do it. And the sweetness of God and blessings will just, oh, it'll just cover your soul. That's the way to live victorious. And nothing can harm you as long as you're in love. Well, you say, see, if you have tongues, they'll cease. And if you have wisdom, it'll vanish. Prophecies, it'll fail. But when you got love, it'll endure forever. And don't love only those who love you, but love those who do not love you. For it's easy for me to love anybody that loves me. But try to love somebody who doesn't love you. That's where you can test whether you're a Christian or not. Somebody don't love you, and yet in your heart, you love them. Now, if you don't do that, then just keep holding on to God. It's there, because I know it to be the truth. <laughs> Amen. I know that it's the truth.